155 miles north of the Arctic Circle. The Ilulisat Ice Fjord is the seamouth of one of the most active glaciers in the world. More icebergs break off this glacier than anywhere else in the Northern Hemisphere. Ilulisat might just be the greatest tourist attraction in the Arctic. And Ocean Endeavour's passengers are raring to go. It's fantastic. They can't wait to jump into the Zodiac for a closer look. Only for that to happen, the captain will need to anchor near the town of Ilulisat. So we are six miles uh, to go to Ilulisat. But getting through the last stretch is never a given. Every time that I've tried to go to Ilulisat, I haven't been able to because there was just a, a recent calving of this giant glacier that made it impossible to approach with all of the ice. If there are too many icebergs in the way, it's very risky for the ship to go in. This is hard ice from the glacier. Ocean Endeavour may have an ice-strengthened hull, but it's no icebreaker. If it hits an iceberg at a high speed, the damage would be catastrophic. To uh, go through the ice, then it's, uh, we, we really slow down to minimum. Moments after the captain slows the vessel to a crawl, the ship runs into the first band of fog. There is no use to look outside because the fog is so thick. To the passengers, the fog makes the stunning scenery even more enchanting. But on the bridge, fog makes navigation treacherous. The captain looks to radar to find the dangers hidden in the mist. The radar shows ice all over the place. What's worse, it's constantly moving with the current. In this part of the world, the current is very uh, changeable. We have to change course and avoid this ice. While the radar does the job above the waterline, the captain looks to sonar to get past obstacles below the surface especially with 90% of each iceberg actually underwater. This is the far sonar, and for the moment, I'm uh, watching. As the ship sails forward, its sonar emits an acoustic pulse into the water below. If an iceberg is in its path, the sound bounces off the berg, returning an echo. The time between the emission of the sound pulse and its reception determines the range and location of the obstacle. And this uh, ice navigation requires a lot of patience. When ice is detected, the captain maneuvers the vessel using some of its most powerful tools. Ocean Endeavour is equipped with one bow thruster and a stern thruster that enable the ship to pivot quickly without moving forward, avoiding ice that suddenly moves into the ship's path. This is actually all about uh, the speed and uh, maneuverability of the ship. After two hours of tricky navigation, the fog lifts and the captain brings the ship close enough to drop the anchor. 